Hey guys, welcome to Comfy Cozy Off. So this week is a reading vlog, but yeah, I'm trying to get back into the swing of this week because, you know, it's one of those weeks where adjustment, schedule change, um, but feeling good. So I have been pretty much writing most of this week, but I'm on my fifth book of the month, so I feel good about that. And uh, I did finish what I want to do with the bookshelf. I think I'm going to leave it at what it's now. But I did get some new plans, so let me show you, you know, T and Tony. <laughs> so guys, I decided to get these hanging plants. And guys, this is Tia. Yes, I named my plants. And would you believe when I got her, she fell out of the freaking container all on the carpet. And I had to pot her back in. But she seemed to be adjusting um, to the change. And this is Tony over here same thing so I am hopeful for these I'm gonna eventually put them in a different container but you know usually when you get new plants you want to keep them in their original container until they get used to the environment so and I'm loving the bookshelf so this is what I'm keeping it at and um and I love it so I am definitely gonna do a book tour bookshelf tour at some point but because I have multiple, but I love it. I just think it's just so, so much better than it was before. And uh, that's a good thing. Yeah, so I'm going to do a bookshelf tour. This one and the one in my bedroom. Because one in my bedroom, I keep like my really treasure books in there. And then this is like the bigger one. But I'll do a tour at some point. So let me show you what I'm reading. And if you've been on my Instagram, you know, I have... Uh, Butterfly by Ashley Antoinette. Now, this is a spinoff, guys. So if you didn't read Ethics, I think you do need to read Ethics. Because even though this is supposed to be taken as you can just pick this up and read it, I think the main character, you get a better understanding of her if you know more about her past. Because in this story, what I do like um, is it's not just about her. It's also about her friend, um, um, Ariel she is to me making this really little spicy like <laughs> i'm loving that she added her as um, a storyline in this but this is about a young girl who's basically growing and having to be an adult now and um but at the same time she's she's still her old way in a lot of way because i feel like she just jumped from one frying pot to the next because she's still doing things that a bit just <laughs> I'm just there are times where I'm just shaking my head reading this like Lord she you know she's not that girl that is going to want to live this simple life she needs a little roughness to it so she's just an edgy person she does her, her, if, the way they describe her if you saw her she wouldn't look edgy but her personality she likes edgy men Period. Now, the little, there's a little love triangle in this that I'm not really a fan of. I'm, a part of me is like, don't do it, don't do it. I'm like literally reading certain things happening. I don't want it to happen because I'm rooting for this one other character who pop up every so often in the freaking book. And um, I'm rooting for him. So I'm just hoping that she doesn't like end up in a, in a little complicated situation. But for some reason I have in my head how things are going to turn out and I'm hoping that I'm not like foreseeing it where it's just going to be predictable but just something just feel like it's there's a twist that I feel like it's going to happen in this I don't know why but anyway um, I'm going to keep reading I have like a hundred pages to go and then I'm reading it and this book has been abused guys I, I hate look at how I creased the damn front as you can see it like, I couldn't believe I creased it like that. And it looks so ugly. Oh, I hate when I do that to my book. But anyway, I'm going to continue and do my journal entry of the day and all that good stuff. Yeah. Stay tuned.
Hey guys, so it's finished. Now, you guys know how much I love ethics, even though the last two book in the series was my favorite, but overall, I, it was everything for me last year. Now, Morgan is heavily in the series of ethics, so her having a spinoff um, didn't, it's not going to come off new because I feel like you didn't get to really know her um, prior. So I'm going to say, like I, I think I said it earlier, um, you do need to read ethics. Um, I feel this did not give you a good idea of her personality and and if she even grew up. Because in this, she looks like she's still a caterpillar. She She doesn't look like she got... She turned into a butterfly yet, if you read this. Um, because she is still unsure of herself. Um, I do feel like she is, in her growth, she's kind of now allowing things to happen. Versus, I felt, the younger, naive Morgan was a little bit much more um, aggressive and easily speak her mind. And in this, she is allowing things to happen um, it's kind of like she's punishing herself in a lot of ways. Um, um, I'm, I'm, I'm more understanding of her, of her personality versus, I think, doing ethics. I was very frustrated with her. Um, but I kind of see where it's coming from. Now, the storyline in this is basically, um, it is a love triangle, pretty much. And I mean, it's not even, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit messy, um, and doing this, I felt like um, for um, the character of her love interest in this one, um, I, I understood why it happened. Um, but at the same time, I didn't want it to happen. And I'm, I'm a little bit upset that it happened. Um, because just, I'm just, I don't want that to happen. <laughs> um, I, you know, the character is not, a, it's like when you read the story, you realize the character's not a bad character. Like, any, if it was a different situation, he would be so ideal, but no, he's not the one for her. So I wasn't happy with that. Now the family saga with the other man um, was very predictable in how the series of Ethic ends. I knew they were going to be problematic, but you still don't know their power. Um, you know, this book is just a taste of what to come. Because for them to be very wealthy and um, well-known in this, you didn't really get to see how much power they have and how dirty they can get. So it gives me this idea that it's going to be extremely messy um, later on. And um, and action pack. I feel like this is going to have some action packs going on as well. Um, it's just not going to be an easy um, situation because they all want her. Um, for different reason because she's not the I, I, personality wise I find that her her friend um, Aria is to me my kind of girl she's to me her personality is to me more winning because she is <laughs> she's bad she's that bad you know <laughs> so but for all of them trying to get Morgan it's to me I'm scratching my head like there's really nothing special about her absolutely nothing special about her but somehow you have all these men with different personality, different needs, and they all want her. And how is that going to pan out? You know, it's going to be what makes this, the, the story interesting and also makes you want to read. What she did do is she made sure she put when the next one coming out, which is in June. Because I think it... it, 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 it it's really hard for me to really say, <laughs> but the best I could sum up is you got nowhere in this as far as the past. The past got thrown in at the end, and then I feel like Morgan is still in the dark. <laughs> like, she doesn't know. She, The girl have no clue uh, of what's going on around her. It seemed like, you know, everybody know but her, and I want, I want to feel sorry for her, but I don't. It's, you know, it's kind of like, cause she's not special, guys. I don't, I'm, why well, I don't like this character? <laughs> I don't hate her. I just feel she's just not special. And all these men just going after her. I'm just like, now ethics 
if it was a bunch of women fighting over ethics, I get that. Because, guys, ethic popped up in this about two, two, three times in the story. And every time ethic pops up, I'm getting excited. <laughs> because I just love ethics. I, I, I can't help myself. And, you know, and I'm like, push her out of the way. Can we get an <laughs> ethics back up in here? And it seemed like he might have a little bit more, you know, presence in the next book. I'm hoping. Because, I mean, I'm, I'm here for ethics. <laughs> you know, Morgan is just... Ugh. Yeah, but if you read Ethics, you're going to want to read this because you're just going to want to know what's happening. You, you, you just, you can't help yourself. You're going to want to know like I do. So, yeah. But if you've never read Ethics, start with Ethics. Do not start with this first. It, this is just not a good way to start because you're just going to be, you're going to be lost and confused about a lot of things if you start with this and not read Ethics first. You know, so yeah. So... I'm going to end it here. This is one of those uh, reviews that was, you know, a bit all over the place. But I hope you enjoyed my little cooking. It was something new I was trying. I had, I'd done that before, but different ingredients. So I was like, let me try this and see how it is. It was yummy, guys. So, um, but I'm going to continue. I hope you saw my TBR for my classics because I was loving that. And I reviewed one of the books in there. And so, yeah, I'm going to go on to book number five, which was a nice surprise by Arthur. And um, I will talk about it in the next video. So, thanks for watching, guys, and have a good day. Bye.